Well, hello there. Notice anything different? Bingo. We are back in the workshop this past week. Buckets and I. Buckets, say hello to the people. Hello, people. Buckets and I, we were on the move. We traveled to LA, Los Angeles, which was awesome. I love LA, such a dope city. Then we drove up the coast of California, all the way up to Monterey, amazing. Seriously, the highway runs along the Pacific Ocean for hours. One of the dopest views I've ever seen, just awesome. But it does feel good to be back home. It feels good to be back in the workshop, back in the laboratory. So here we are. Now we had a bunch of sneakers waiting for us upon our arrival. And the one I am most excited about, well, let's break them out. I was gonna just start ranting and raving, but let's break them out and then we can talk about them. Give me that build up. That Mozart playing in the background. Make it happen. Dun, 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 dun. Bang, bang. The Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year. This shoe is 38 fire emojis without question. The official release date is November 17th and retail will be $160. Jordan brand ending the year strong. I like it. I like it a lot. If you know me, then you know I love the Jordan 1. It's one of my favorite sneakers of all time. And I just love the way these turned out in particular. Perfect color for the fall. That tan just gives it a really premium look. I dig it. The colorway is inspired by Michael Jordan winning Rookie of the Year. More specifically, his Rookie of the Year acceptance speech back in 1985. He was wearing a sports coat or a blazer that was this color. My man MJ just walked up to the podium in the cowhide jacket. Like, what's popping? People should have known he was going to be the greatest ever right then. You know, it's crazy to think about when you see Jordan or even LeBron when he first got into the league or in high school, you know, you see some of this old footage, these old clips, an old interview before anyone knew they were gonna be the best, before people knew they were gonna be what they turned out to be. Well, maybe they knew that already, but the world didn't. And I think it's always cool to get those flashbacks. So I like what Jordan Brand did with these, a little homage to young Mike before the hoop earrings, before all the championships. Now, I'd be lying if I said that this colorway really has any significance with me or for me. I wasn't watching Jordan at that time. So to me, it's just kind of a cool backstory. Nothing more than that. The reason I like this shoe, one reason and one reason only. What does that even mean? Nobody knows, but it, it's provocative. It gets the people going. Okay, Will Ferrell. No, the reason I like them is this. They look good. That's it. It's a Jordan 1 sneaker, and I really dig the colorway. For me, it is as simple as that. If you've been watching these videos for any length of time, you know the Jordan 1 is a sneaker I have talked about a lot. I don't know why I said talk that way. I've talked about it a lot. We've done a lot of Jordan 1 videos. So, you know, you throw a luxurious fall colorway such as this onto the Jordan 1 and your boy is like, yes, sign me up. Now, there are some cool details on the sneaker which definitely add to it. Let's run through them real quick. So, sale, tan, black. Those are the colors, obviously. Sale, you know, we're seeing it everywhere this year, but I, for one, enjoy it very much. I also like how they went with the black outsole on these, also had the black check, black around the ankle, and then the tan is a really nice suede, tan Van Gundy. You know, I gotta do it. You know, I gotta do it. What is that, Velvet? <clears throat> Had to do it. Regular Jordan 1 nylon tongue, and then there's a tumbled leather on the rest of the sneaker. They really did execute these nicely. Oh, and there's even an extra set of red laces, which is kind of spicy. Also, something that I really like is the ankle tabs or wings or collar. What do you even call these? I don't know, but they're disattached, which, and I've said this before, but it's the Virgil effect, man. What Virgil did with Off-White, you see the trickle down. You see the impact and influence everywhere from Nike and Jordan to other brands to sneaker customizations. It's crazy how much he's impacted sneakers 
and I dig it. I think it's really, really dope. A few more details on the back of each side. Some of Jordan's stats from that 84-85 season, 28 points per game, that is crazy. And an MJ quote about winning rookie of the year. And the last thing that I think is a really nice touch is the tongue tab. It's a nice chunky leather, again, going back to that premium feel. Classy tinks. And there you have it, here it is. The Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year. I really dig them, as I'm sure you know after listening to me talk about them for a few minutes. But let me know how you feel. Leave a comment below and let us know. Are you going to buy a pair? Are you holding out for the Concord 11s that release a little bit later? How are you feeling about Jordan brand in general? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it of some use to you. I say this often, but anytime we can show you a sneaker early, give you an early look, we like to do that because it provides a lot more value, at least as far as we're concerned. You can see the sneaker beforehand and kind of get a heads up on what to expect. We appreciate you very much though, and we will be back tomorrow right here at the workshop with a brand new video. Until then, hasta la vista.